Okay, a lot of you people last week followed on Facebook uh, our challenges uh, with our cat Smokey. Um, she had been very sick, and but in the middle of last week she started to look better, and then things kind of took a turn for the worse, and we got a call from the veterinarian's office saying they needed to talk to us about some of the blood work we had done on her, and uh, some of the indicators in her liver um, were kind of concerning the uh, the veterinarian. Uh, there was talk of uh, irritable bowel syndrome, um, lymphoma, uh, lymphoma, which is cancer, which scared the death out of us, and we were really concerned about her. She wasn't eating, which is bad. She dropped over 100 grams, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if you're a cat that weighs about 8 pounds, it's quite a bit. So we've got these injections we've got to give her, plus a pill, which is extremely difficult to get into a cat. So Sheila is setting things up. And what exactly do we have for her, Sheila? Prednisone. Prednisone, which is a steroid. So we give that to her. We have an appetite enhancer. Yeah, which actually works quite well, which we'll tell you about in just a second. And we have two different types of antibiotics that have been And we have antibiotics, okay. So one of the antibiotics we give her as a pill because there was no uh, injection for that. Um, it's the hardest thing to give to a cat, trust me. She is pretty smart about keeping the pills in her mouth and then spitting them out later. So uh, that might be a bit of a struggle in just a few minutes. We'll show you that in just a moment. And then what happens is we have this drip bag, which you can see up here. We give her 100 milliliters of that. Um, it's called sodium chloride, and it's just basically water with a little bit of salt in it. But one of the injections we give to her can sting very badly. So it basically dilutes one of the injections we give her, but it also gives her some liquids, which keeps her hydrated, which hasn't been too much of a problem over the last few days. Um, uh, she's actually drinking and eating quite a bit now, and we'll give you an update on her in just a moment. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to try to get this tiny little uh, pill in her, and we just decided yesterday that a little bit of butter on it makes it harder for her to spit it out because she can't get her tongue around it because it's a little too slippery. So this is tough. I kind of hold her, and we try to get it into her mouth, but she does not like this at all. So here we go. Oh, I'll see. Missed. It's okay, it's more butter. It's okay. A little more butter on there. Okay, come on. Okay, I'll hold her. She's got her tongue going. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Smokey. Oh, she got her foot in there. I don't She's know where the pill is. She had her foot down. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> butter all over her <laughs> I don't know. Did she eat it? No. You didn't get it no, in her? She got it with her foot. She got it. Is it on her foot? <laughs> Butter all over her back. I don't know where the pill is. Nope. We'll have um, we'll have the other cats licking <laughs> her back. Yeah, grab another pill. We'll find it. <laughs> another pill. It's a tough pill to swallow. I'm sure it was. Okay. So now here's the next process, is we have to put the liquid into her back. Do you want me to start that up? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. This is the last one here. Yeah. Okay. Stay down. Good girl. All right. So now. Sheila feels on the back, the skin on her back, Are you ready? and just sticks it in. It doesn't really hurt her at all. And then I take these caps off, and I open this up. We're well, dripping now, okay? So now I take these. Yep, we got it. Okay, Smokey, you're okay. Now I take these and stick them in here. Good girl. And we inject her. Good girl. One. Inject her with two, and this last one, it can hurt her. That's why we give her the liquid. So I kind of put this in a little bit. I put a little bit in, I back it up, bring in some water, some sodium chloride, give her a little bit more, back it off, give her a little bit more, and that's all of it. Now, in order for us to get the liquid in quicker, I take the bag and come up here and give it a little bit more oomph as it rolls downhill. Good girl. And just a little bit more to go. Oh, good girl. You're almost done. You can see we're... Almost done, sweetie. Almost done. Good girl, Smoke. No, 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 no. Okay. We got you. I think we're done, lady. You good? Yeah. I think we should be at 400 milliliters, okay, right? Roll her off. Roll off. And that's it. Yeah, because we. Uh, Good girl. 
Okay. We're down a little bit below 400 milliliters now, so we're done. Okay. So, so basically, that is the whole process, and there's Smokey. And let me just give you an update on her. Um, she is back to normal now. Um, all this process has really helped her. She's eating like you would not believe because we're giving her a pill that makes her feel much better. And um, she's back to herself. Like she's like the way she was normally. She took about two days, but all of a sudden she started to eat, got very hungry, started drinking, and is doing much, much better. So we go back on Friday to get her blood work done again, and hopefully those levels in her liver are down. But we have a good feeling that she's feeling much better. And as you can see, she's eating and feeling much better. So thanks for all your good thoughts. Um, that's what we're doing every morning right now for a little while, and we'll find out how long we have to continue with this. Um, when we talk to that on Friday.